Okay, today we're going to have ourselves a good old fashioned 30 caliber shootout. And one of my subscribers, he better be a subscriber, <laughs> he brought it up a couple times. He wanted me to compare the 54R 7.62 by 54R versus the 7.62 by 51 millimeter against mild steel. And it's kind of funny because all I have is like hardened steel. I was up the garage looking, everything's hardened. Went down, I well, had to get some stuff for a trailer. And they didn't, they usually have half inch plates and different things. They didn't have any, but they had quarter inch straps. So I just welded two of them together. So it's a half inch mild steel. I uh, don't mind the welds. I mean, there was like literally <laughs> a two minute weld. I was like, I had to weld it and get going. But anyway, so we're going to do that. And this is going to be a really quick video. We got, they're all full metal jackets. I tried to keep them as comparable as possible. So with the 7.62 by 51, we're using the Federal XM80C uh, full metal jacket, 149 grain. I don't know if they have velocity on here or not. Yeah, I don't know. And then anyway, then we're going to the 54R. This is, I didn't, uh, fuck. this is wolf ammo. So this is soft point. I think these are about 150 grain full metal jacket also. We can dry soft point, see if they do anything. But then I also brought the French out because it's a good excuse to, to shoot it. This is a 7.5 by 54 French, 139 grain. Uh, I, this is one of my favorite cartridges. It's just, it's one of my favorite guns. It's just like I said, perfect excuse to bring out the MAS here. So that being said, we got that, what is this, Model 49? God, it's been so long. Yeah, 4956, 7.5 French. Uh, then we just got the AR-10. I didn't even bother bringing the mag. I was like, went through everything, but then I was like, forgot the mag. I was like, I'm not even going back in for it. And then we got the good old M44, uh, 7.60 by 54R Polish M44. So let's just get this set up. We're just going to put it up right by that rock up there. And then, yeah, we'll just see what they do. So stay tuned. Okay, first up, we're going to do the 7.62 by 51. Uh, the Federal XM80C. Let's see if we can do it without free hand. Didn't have my ear protection on. That's all right. Huh? Okay, it did not go through. And actually, that was right where I was aiming, too. Oh, man, that's a... <laughs> yeah, you can see it all almost poked through look at that bulge I actually broke the welds there too huh i didn't think it would break the welds well that side i was a little drunk when i made that i think well we'll shoot a little higher with the uh we'll do the we'll do the seven five french how about that okay next up we're gonna do the 7.5 french 139 grain uh, this model 4956. I've got. I have no idea where this gun is hitting at all, whatsoever. I'm gonna try. Oh man, I have no idea this gun forever. It'd be a miracle if I hit it. <laughs> kind of pulled out last second there. Let's see if I got it. We can do it again. We got plenty of ammo. Yeah, I kind of pulled it at the last second, but I was kind of right where I was aiming, though. So, uh, didn't go through. Bulge the crap out of it. But not as much as the 7.62 by 51. Doesn't have the case pressure, but yeah, pretty cool. Let's try the 54R now. Okay, next up we got the 7.62 by 54R. 
out of the Mosin or the M44 Polish M44 and I am hitting 100 for 100 on accuracy today let's see it's gone so loud Okay, some pretty surprising results. First of all, that gun was way off. I had to shoot a few shots to get her shooting good. Got somewhat close. Uh, so, th this was a full male jacket, and this was a soft point. These probably mostly, this was a soft point, too. As you can tell, the soft point, really, that's a soft point there. It actually cracked the steel. So it did just as good as a full metal jacket, which is pretty interesting. But 308, I mean, still, I don't know, man. That's close. That's real close. They are very similar on mild steel. I'm looking at that thing. It looks like <laughs> so many bulges in it. Mild steel is pretty fun. I'm going to have to do some more of this stuff. I brought a silver tip. brought a whole box of silver tips. But this, it has a hardened steel core it's not very big it's not it's not like them ten dollars a bullet ten dollars shot rounds i have uh this is an incendiary this armor piercing incendiary let's see if it'll go through i don't know is this it's kind of like a light armor piercing it's kind of like the green tips for the 223 so these do penetrate a lot better but not like them straight armor piercing ones i have for that but let's try that Okay, next up we got the silver tip arm piercing incendiary. And having a hard time finding a decent spot to rest. Check it out. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, which one was it again? I lost it. Is it this one? Yeah. Yep. So you can see one in there, splattered, got hot for some reason, and then the core just popped right through there. So they're pretty cool. You know, pretty neat little round. So there it is. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions to, for a video, this was a lot of fun actually. You're going to have to, uh, he has a bunch of miles still down there. I'm going to have to get some more and, uh, try different things on it you know because i always shoot hardened steel but i don't know mild steel is kind of fun you know because you get you know, def deformities and penetration instead of just trying to penetrate hardened steel so there it is fun little video thanks for watching guys